All right, this is put into a sigma and solve. This is going to be the long one. So firstly, I need to figure out if this is arithmetic or geometric. And I notice that it is going up by 2 each time. So I'm saying plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, so on and so forth. So the formula for an arithmetic sequence is a sub 1 plus b n minus 1. Or in this case, if I go ahead and do all this and simplify it down, I'm going to get 2n plus 58. Now I want to go ahead and put this in a sigma. So for my sigma, you always have an infinity on top, n equals 1 on the bottom, and then our formula, the 2n plus 58. Now that is wonderful, but I need to figure out s sub what? I need to figure out how many terms I'm summing. I know that the last term is 3082. So I'm going to take the last term and set it equal to my formula. So 3082 is 2n plus 58. I'm going to go ahead and solve this. 3082 minus 58 and divide by 2. I get n equals 512. Oop. So that means that I am finding the sum of the first 512 terms. So if I come over here, my formula for an arithmetic sequence is n over 2 a sub 1 plus a sub n. Or in other words, how many terms we're summing over 2, and then the sum of the first term and the last term. So in this case, I've got 512 terms. The first term, or if I plug in 1 into this equation, is 60. Plus, and then the last term, or if I plug in 512 to this equation, I get 3,082. If I plug all this into the calculator, I get that my answer is 8,004, or I'm sorry, 804,352.